Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining me in my rainbow kitchen. I am Julia and today I'm going to show you how I make a very delicious cauliflower alfredo sauce that is very versatile. So let's get started. Okay, so first step in making this uh, sauce is in the Thermomix is we'll start with uh, one brown onion and quarters and I have a bunch of garlic here. You want a good amount of garlic and a good amount of onions because they bring in a lot of flavor to the party. So we're gonna go with five minutes on the highest temp, which is for Roma for us when we're doing it ourselves. Our five minutes are up. So let's take a look. That's a, creates more of a steam environment. Next I have here, this was a head of broco a head of cauliflower that I cut up into chunks and put in the oven for 30 minutes. And I even cut up the stems. And I put it in the oven for 30 minutes so that a little bit of the moisture cooks out of the cauliflower and intensifies the flavor. Switch over here to the scales and at this point I'm going to add about two ounces of um, cashews. And that's uh, soy milk in this case, and I'm also gonna go for about two cups. It depends on a little bit on how much cauliflower you have, how much liquid is left in the cauliflower. So uh, it's a little bit, you know, where you just have to run it and then see if that's uh, thin enough or if you need a little bit more milk to thin it out. And I'm also going to add the juice of a lemon. And then I'm going to add some nutritional yeast. And I'm shooting for about half a cup, about two ounces as well. I'm gonna turn this on speed 10 for about three minutes. And go ahead and check for flavor and smoothness and make any adjustments if necessary. So we'll put on the lid here. And go back here, make sure that there's no temperature. I'll set this for three minutes and then speed 10 and we'll go somewhat, we'll try to go somewhat slow, but you don't have to go that slow because it's fairly thick and the lids keep everything in. Three minutes are up. Let's have a look. It looks nice and smooth and about the right thickness. These days I'll remember to take it out ahead of time. Yeah, the flavor is there that I'm looking for, and it's nice and smooth, no, not, uh, no, no grittiness or anything like that that you might uh, think you would get after uh, grinding up the cashews like that, so delicious, delicious. So before I let you go, I want to make sure I show you how the pre-cleaning function works. So I have, I rinsed this out just a little bit, some hot water in here, you can use cold, it just takes a little longer to run. Put the lid back on, we'll go into pre-clean mode here, and then in this case we're just going to go with all-purpose. And uh, it runs and then I will be back after it's finished, I will dump it out, take a, a dishcloth and just wipe it out a little bit and then I'll show you how clean it is and it's ready to go for my next project. Okay, so here I ran the pre-clean function, so water collected in here, and you can see it's clean and it's ready to go. In fact, we are going to make some banana bread next. That's why little Lex is standing here with me. So um, I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for joining me today as I showed you how to make a delicious cauliflower alfredo whole food plant-based sauce. Now you can eat this with pasta, you know, bean pasta, regular whole wheat pasta, or even white pasta. I also love it on potatoes. I will put it into my mashed potatoes. And I make zucchini noodles and eat it with zucchini noodles or I mix it in with my steamed kale to make a cream kale type of dish. So lots of ways to use this delicious sauce. So thanks again for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe. It really does help me grow my channel. Right now I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers because then YouTube will unlock some more goodies for me. Um, and if you want to schedule a personalized demo so you can see how the Thermomix might fit into your kitchen, please contact me. It's an easy four-step process and, um, you know, just reach out to get started with that. Uh, and uh, thanks again for joining us and have a great day.